Who was Regina Lukai? This is David Haivri. I would like to invite you to join me on my journey to learn more about inspiring individuals in the history of Israel and the Jewish people. Today, I would like to learn more about Regina Lukai, who was 16 years old. She was born in Iraq. She was sentenced to seven years in prison for reading a Hebrew letter. That's right. She was sent to jail for seven years for reading a letter in the language of the Bible, the language of the Torah, the language of the Jewish people. Why was she sent to prison? And what happened to Regina Lukai? Stay with me and we will learn more about this amazing individual. The history of the Jewish people in Kurdistan, in northern Iraq, dates back at least 2,700 years to the time of the destruction of the northern kingdom of Israel and the exile of the Israelite to Babylon. The Jewish people have a very rich history in that region. There are many Jews in Israel today who are descendants of the Jews of Kurdistan and Iraq. Irbil, the capital of Kurdistan today, region that has been under the control of Iraq following World War I and the foundation of Iraq. After the state of Israel was established in 1948, the Iraq government, who were hostile to Israel and also participated participated in the invasion and war against the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, Iraq passed laws forbidding Zionism, and they persecuted Jews for their alleged support of the establishment of the State of Israel. This story regarding a young girl whose name was Regina Lukai, she was 16 years old, born and bred in the city of Irbil in northern Iraq. She was arrested by the authorities because she had a letter written in Hebrew, the language of the Jewish people. And because she had this letter, she was accused of supporting Zionism. And she was sentenced to seven years in prison and sent to jail. She was imprisoned in the infamous Iraqi Nukrat al-Salman fortress in the desert, together with 162 prisoners, 50 of whom were Jewish. She spent two years in that prison. She was finally released after holding a 21-day hunger strike, together with other prisoners, which received received public support and caused demonstrations in Iraq. Ultimately, she was released and came to Israel, where she changed her name from Regina to Herzliya. And that, my friends, was a very short historical review on an inspirational figure in Jewish history, Regina Herzliya Lukai. I hope that you enjoyed this podcast. This is David Haivri. Please do subscribe and share this with your friends. Be well. Shalom.